Hi everybody from the Smoky Mountains in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is where we're spending the week. John and Tiana are playing in the hot tub, as you can hear behind me. We have been having so much fun here. We got here last night and Tiana has been in the pool, as she calls it, the warm pool, about 300 times already. So she is absolutely obsessed. We had a really fun day today doing touristy things. So we went to Smoky Mountain National Park. We did a small trail, nothing big, because we're planning on going on a big hike tomorrow or the day after. That was across a bridge and went along a creek. And then we also went to some overlooks that were very beautiful. And then after that, we went to downtown Gatlinburg and just kind of explored, walked around a little, got some ice cream and went to an arcade, which was really nice. And then we came back here to hang out in the hot tub. So we had a lot of fun today. Um, our Airbnb is super adorable. It's up here in the Smoky Mountains and it's actually our friend, Michael and Jill Elefante's Airbnb. We love it. It's called the Black Bear Airbnb. And it also, we've seen a black bear already, but I'll show you a little bit of the house and I'll link it below in case you're interested in staying. Otherwise tonight, we're gonna be hanging out, relaxing, making dinner. I'm sure we'll be spending a lot of time in the hot tub. Your turn. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Tiana is about to have her first ever s'more. Nice. So we're gonna roast marshmallows. She's <laughs> never done this before, but she's super excited. We've been talking about it all day, and I'm excited too, actually. Nice. So. Not just any marshmallows, dandies, vegan marshmallows, and they're pretty good. All right, now he's gonna do one. Hold on. All right, you ready? Hold the stick right here. Right, your stick. <laughs> and then put it in the fire. Just like that. Ooh, it's cooking. Oh, it's on fire. Blow, 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 blow. Harder, harder. Good job, baby, you did it. All right, that one's well done. Okay, now you gotta take a big bite. That's your, that's the most important job is a big bite, okay? All right, big bite. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> good job, baby. Is it good? So we made it to the hike. That's what we decided to do first. We are on the Alum Bluffs Trail. Tiana is super tired. She wants to like take a nap right now and I forgot her carrier that we usually hike with her in so we've been switching back and forth <laughs> because our arms are getting tired. We had a big change of plans today. So it was actually quite a day. This morning, we, me and Tiana woke up late. Um, we actually slept until 8.45 which she never sleeps in that long so that already gave us a late start. And then we went to do the hike and I realized that I forgot her carrier that she usually sits in when we hike all the way at home in West Virginia. It was a noble effort though. Yeah. So we carried her for a good while. You carried her further than I did. <laughs> yeah. We tried to carry her on the hike, but it was like just too steep and too far. So then we went back home and Tiana and I actually took like a two hour nap while John worked because it turns out his bookkeeper quit last week. So he Again. had a lot of work to Again. do. Again. And then we went to Walmart and got a new baby carrier so that we can do the hike tomorrow morning. Yay! Woo! And we headed into Pigeon Forge because we've never been there. We got pizza, which is delicious. She won't eat mine, only yours. Oh, okay. You can only have this one? Yeah, we found vegan cheese with the pizza, which is very rare. So we're enjoying that. And we also took Tiana to like this little amusement park there. And she rode her first rides and absolutely loved it. It was hilarious. Yeah. So we have to show you. Yay! Ah! Woo! Ah! Woo! Ah! Woo! Ah! Woo! Ah! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
now we're just hanging out watching sunset here where our Airbnb is up in the mountains. Better give her a bite. <laughs> we're going to have a chill night because we're going to get up early for real tomorrow and do the hike. We were just all over the place today, but it was still a really good day. It was like a fail wind day. Yeah. We'll get worked out. And look at this view. And we're enjoying it. Gorgeous. So. Yeah, we're going to turn around after we're done talking to the camera. Yeah, let's turn this way. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. the Alum Bluffs Cave Trail. And this is try number two on our hike. We have our pack. Look, she loves it. Ready. You love it? Yeah. And this is a little bit further than we made it last time, but today is gonna be a great success. All right, let's do it. Hey, you riding with daddy now? Yeah. She wanted to ride with daddy because daddy's faster than mommy. We won't tell anybody that we carried you up here. You did the whole thing by yourself. We are headed back down the trail now and I realized I never told you guys how long it was. So it's four miles round trip approximately. So when we got up to the bluffs, that was two miles and now it's two miles back down, which should be a lot easier because it's downhill. Um, the way up was, I would say, moderate difficulty. It wasn't too hard. But what did you think, John? I thought it was nice. I mean, it, yeah, it definitely got a little bit harder there at the end with all the stairs. But look at the view. Definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get asked a lot about traveling with kids and is it harder? Well, of course it's harder. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but I feel like a lot of it's about planning and knowing your own limits. For instance, this hike is four miles long. So if it's not something you'd wanna do without the kid, probably don't do it with the kid because it is gonna be harder. Uh, but it doesn't stop us. And it just gives it a little bit more challenge to it. And honestly, it makes it even more worth it because you get to the top and then she gets to see it as well. So that's the pro about it for us. Uh, but we're gonna do a whole video on this about like the top things needed to travel, things to consider when traveling with kids. But for right now, we're loving it. She's taking a little nap and we're almost back to the car. I do want to add the irony and the fact that I said uh, it's all about how you plan. Rihanna, yeah. how many waters did we pack? I forgot the water in the car, but also you didn't remember. We'll be okay. I want to switch your spots. I know, she's so comfy. As you guys can see, I've had an outfit change. We're actually now at the Old Smoky Airbnb. So Michael and Jill, who own the Airbnb we're staying in right now, also own this $1 million Airbnb in Gatlinburg. So it's just down the road from where we're staying. And we are super excited because we're gonna be giving you a complete tour of it on John's channel. So that video will be up a little bit later after my video is up, which you're watching right now. And we had a great day of hiking. We went home, ate, stayed in the hot tub, and now we're here to explore Old Smoky. It is our last day in Gatlinburg, sadly. We'll actually be heading home in the morning tomorrow, but we are doing something very fun today because we are on this sky lift and we're going on the longest pedestrian bridge on the East Coast. Is that real? So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I saw it on the sign. you just made up a fact. <laughs> I saw it on the sign. Yeah. We're gonna go all the way up there. 
Can you say hi, baby? Hi. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot of kisses. <laughs> We're almost to the top, baby. Huh? We're almost to the top. Look. Whoa. Look down, look down. Look. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl has to wave to everybody. It is our last morning here at the Airbnb. We have two hours left before checkout, and it's actually John's birthday, so it's a super exciting day. Kind of sad we have to check out on his birthday, but we've had the best week. I am about to make some birthday pancakes for us, and John and Tiana are playing in the hot tub right now, so they're going to spend their last few hours hanging out outside. Let's go out there and wish John happy birthday and see what they're doing. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. She says it's Nana's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Are you eating my birthday cake again? Give me that. Ah. Hey! She's eating all my birthday cake, she said. Daddy's birthday. Okay. <laughs> I figured I should close out this vlog right where I opened it in one of these beautiful, comfortable chairs. So I wanted to say that we had the best week. Thank you so much to Michael and Jill Elefante for letting us stay at their gorgeous Airbnb. We absolutely loved it. If you're not following Michael and Jill on social media, I will leave their tags in the description below. They're actually traveling the country right now in their van, living van life with their two awesome dogs. And they show a lot of cool stuff on there. They are financially free off their Airbnbs. And they also have an Airbnb course, which I'll link in the description below if you're interested in getting into Airbnbs. I highly recommend it because there's tons of great information on there. Anyways, we'll be heading home today. We'll celebrate the rest of John's birthday at home. Tiana and I will bake him a cake that we'll probably eat because he doesn't like cake. Um, and then we'll just be hanging out this weekend before we all go back to work on Monday. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and following along. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos in the future. We really appreciate your support. Drop a happy birthday comment to John and below. And as always, we'll see you next week.